Hey nesters, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm sharing with you a trash picking haul. Now, over the course of the last couple of weeks, I have gone to three different town wides, and this particular weekend was severely humid out. So when I went around at the end of the yard sale day to see if anyone had tossed anything beside the road, all their yard sale leftovers, there was some and I didn't want to sift through it too much outside because it was the type of weather where it was really hard to breathe. So I just kind of glanced and when I saw there was a few items in there that might, you know, have looked interesting to me, I just threw them in the truck and figured I would go through them later. So that is what I'm going to do now. So as I am going through the first box with you, I'm going to be surprised right along with you. So let's go ahead and get started and jump into it. So this is it. This is the first box that I'm going to share with you today. Now, I will say I didn't glance through this box too much at all. The only thing that it really caught my eye was this vintage chalkware mushroom with the frog on it. <laughs> so I said, yep, I'm gonna grab it. it. Looks like they had cool stuff. So yeah, I was happy to pick that up. Free, you can't beat free, and that is super cute. Larry, one of my subscribers, absolutely loves frogs, so I'm sure he really is enjoying this piece right now. And yeah, it's just a nice little chalkware piece, and it does have the hook still intact, so. Yeah, that was definitely a cool find. And I see this glass cowboy boot here. <laughs> uh, it says Mexico on the bottom. I'm not sure of the age of it, but it does appear to be older, so I could potentially list that. So yeah, that was a kind of a cool find as well. I guess you can have some boot juice. <laughs> and we got a couple of bunnies, I see. This is, is it marked Royal Crown? Uh, some kind of a signature on the bottom. I can't quite make it out. See if I can see it on this one. It's made in Taiwan. J B something. But those are pretty cute actually. So they don't appear to be chipped. So that's a good find. I can definitely list those next Easter season. And then let's see what else do we have. We have a little creamer here. Uh, seems to be a pretty big crack. It kind of looks like crazing, but it's just kind of cracked really straight here and on the inside so I don't think I would list this it's a color stone hand painted Japan creamer so it's kind of pretty I'll have to double check and on that crack there I don't know if you guys can see it it could just be crazing but it's just too straight of a line for me to really feel comfortable listing I think but it could make for a cute little planter or vase so I might just keep it around for that for myself we have fishing hooks. Got some fishing hooks. <laughs> that could be a booth item. I actually have these little ice skating bunnies. Do you guys remember when I picked these up? That's funny. I don't know if there's any more in there, but I think I have a set of three of these. So let me know in the comments below if you guys remember when I picked that set up. It's pretty funny. And some more fishing stuff. We got some bobbers here. So I'll probably just lot the fishing stuff together I don't know if there's any more in here, but this, <laughs> this is actually a yard sale item. So this is more Easter stuff here. We got a couple of squirrels riding a bunny carousel or something. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on with this piece. This is put out by Kathy Jeffers. It's an Avon 1993 piece. So, hey, I can list it on Etsy if you guys are interested. That piece is kind of different. <laughs> And we have, oh, it's supposed to be part of a whole line here. Avon 1993, another Kathy Jeffries. Now we got squirrels riding a turkey carousel. <laughs> These are so weird, <laughs> but I kind of like them. So yeah, we got that going on there. And I'm really hoping there's more in here. So this is a pine cone candle votive and a deer with a wreath on it. The The deer just looks a little odd to me in the face. He doesn't look very happy. This is a 1987 piece and I don't know the maker but that's pretty cute. That seems to be a little bit older than 87 to me but I'll take it. That's pretty cute. <laughs> okay so we have some oh what are these fake worms? There must be something to do with fishing. I don't know. That's kind of mean. You guys feeding fish fake worms. If you're going to fish 
get the fishies, let them have their last supper. Don't give them the fake stuff. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so I see a little peasant here. Oh, it's a shaker. Where's the, oh, it's in the front. So it's a little pepper shaker there. It does have the plug in it. So I don't know the condition. It seems to be in good shape. Hopefully the other ones in there could list it. It's kind of hard to list just single ones like this because you're not going to get very much money for them anyways. <laughs> so if you only have one, well, is this the match to it? He's missing his tail though. Hmm. Darn it. Well, here's his friend, <laughs> but it had an accident, so I don't know. I'll probably just throw this one in the booth and I don't really know what to do with this one. Maybe I'll put it out in my garden outside as a little ornament for there. Let's see, we have a couple of elephants in here, I can see. These are, it says made in China on the bottom, but it's stamped in red, so they are a little bit older. And the trunk is up, so trunks up is for good luck, so. We could all use that. It feels like bone china, actually. So we got two there, a nice little set. I can probably list those. I'm not really into the elephants, but I know other people are. We have a little yellow rope, probably for fishing again. It has some kind of a weird metal thing on it. I'm not quite sure what that is. Probably to hang the fish off after you catch it, perhaps. Uh, we have a small trinket tray here. Some little fish hooks as well. <laughs> this one is a Lennox. Wedding Promises Collection put up by Lennox made in the USA. So I'm not quite sure what the floral is because it's all in white, but it's very pretty. Let's see. Oh yes, we got more carousel animals. This one is a duck riding a swan. And we got a bunny. Uh, one of the bunnies is missing its ear, but you know what? It's still a super cool set, so I don't, I'm don't. i not mad at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, is this like a seasonal thing? <laughs> it's a seasonal thing, because this is obviously a winter scene. We have a reindeer carousel. It looks like there's probably something that used to be on it, because we know everyone's been on the carousel so far. And it looks like a little mouse family on the side here. So this obviously was a winter one. So we got Christmas, Thanksgiving, uh, I guess the bunny would be more spring, and then this swan and ducks must have been the summer one. So two out of the four seem to be in pretty good condition. There's a couple issues on a couple of them, so I'm not quite sure what I'll do with them, but those were fun. I've never seen those before. We have this pen holder and this... I don't know what that is. It's some heavy stone. It's a paperweight, obviously. Uh, I don't know what that is. What is this kind of stone? Do you guys know what that is? It's a peachy color to it. Oh, I'm not sure if it's like quartz or what it is, but it's pretty cool. It's a nice little paperweight. And I see a map. I like the map stuff. What is this? What am I supposed to? Oh, it goes like this. Yay, I like that. I'll be keeping this. You guys know I like my globes. That's a really cool find. I've never seen that either, so. I got myself that. <laughs> and we have, oh, we got some pantyhose. Just what I needed. <laughs> so I'll spare you that. There's a bunch of, wow, that's a lot of pantyhose. Is that all that's in there? There's some, um, what is that? Like a shaper thing. And then we got a couple scarves. That's kind of pretty. I like the black and white polka dots and then we have a scarf here that is a butterfly and some red almost look like how you would draw the birds when you're a kid <laughs> yeah that one's kind of cool it's a little thin and then there's also this little hanky here so that's kind of cool there's a little basket in there and there's a bug hold on It's on me. Sorry, that bug landed on me and it freaked me out. It was like a little centipede or something. But yeah, that is everything. I think I did pretty good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what item was your favorite. I definitely was most happy about this frog chalkware piece. I thought this was super cool. And the whole reason why I even grabbed the box, I didn't even know it was a frog and I just saw the marshmallow, uh, the marshmallow, <laughs> the mushroom on it. And I thought that'd be a cool thing to pick up. I also, 
really like that. So that was probably my two favorites. I thought this was kind of cool as well. This is something I would consider keeping, but I think I probably will list that. I think I can make some money off of the elephants as well. And you know, maybe those bunny sets during Easter time. So overall, I probably could make about 40, maybe about 40 bucks. So pretty good for free. And yeah, so if you guys enjoy trash picking videos, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. I do them every so often. And of course, always do yard sale hauls and thrift hauls. So if that stuff interests you, be sure you're subscribed and be sure to hit that like on your way out if you enjoyed this video and we will catch you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.